one of the areas of confusion I've seen from other patients and even myself has been um, how much to exercise on joints that are hurting. Yeah, well, that's a good question. And that would be something that I hope that your PT would help guide yeah. you through. Yeah. Th those would be some of the fundamental tools. You know, I think if you're very, very inflamed and you're having significant high level, you know, eight, nine out of 10 on the, on the scale, probably need to back it off. Mm -hmm. I think one of the key markers that can help you determine if you're, um, if it's a good time to move that joint or to leave it alone and, and give it rice, give it rest, oh, ice yeah. and compression and elevation and love and decompression with maybe either traction or releasing muscle around it, um, would be to look at an empirical trial. So let's say my elbow is super stiff and it's, uh, it's uncomfortable and I don't know if I should go and move it or not. And so I would do a short empirical bout of say five or 10 minutes of something mm -hmm. that just allowed my elbow to move. Mm -hmm. And I would really look at the, what's called the irritability. Irritability um, isn't how intense it is, it's what the response to movement is later. So if you were to move it and you know, oh wow, it's really uncomfortable. If the pain starts building and getting worse and worse, of course, stop. But if you're if you're moving and you're like, well, I um, it, it actually feels like I've gained some range of motion and it's not as acutely painful, then you go to irritability and you look at what do you feel like that night. Mm -hmm. and, and if you have more pain and more swelling or m loss of range of motion later that night, you're probably perpetuating or causing more inflammation mm -hmm. because it's not a mechanical load at that point. It's, mm -hmm. it's that it's settled down and now it's, now it's getting stiffer. So using intensity of pain and the quality of pain and the, and the, the irritability is probably a good framework for you to make decisions in terms of your tolerance to movement. Again, your goal though is to be able to move and, wow. and not um, become stuck in a pattern. So I think the audience might want to know, is there anything really exciting happening in the field of physical therapy relevant to patients with arthritis? One of the things that I'm very interested in right now is called Connect Therapy. Mm -hmm. and, and this is a way of looking at how um, different regions are connected. They don't need to be physically touching in order to have a profound impact mm -hmm. on each other. Um, of course, I, I love the basics and I think the best PTs do the basics incredibly well. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's the foundation of, a, of PT. In, in medicine um, and working collaboratively with uh, medical doctors, um, I've, I think there's just some really neat things coming down. Coming down. Um, PRP injections are, are very interesting. PRP is platelet-rich plasma. Pull out your platelets and they put that where you want to stimulate healing with growth factor. It's, it's amazing. Um, stem cells are, are the hot thing, is, is rejuvenative medicine. It's yeah. like basically pulling uh, stem cells, which are undifferentiated cells out of your bone marrow, and they inj in can inject that within your joint. And that actually brings back some cartilage in some cases. But I think that's the future of, of PT as a collaborative model that looks at the biomechanics and their alignment and tries to reduce loads, but then couple that with some of the regenerative medicine. And I think that's, that's really the future.